why you felt little Tiffany deserved to die. Well, she was the only one that actually seemed dangerous at the time, sir. How'd you come to that conclusion? Well, well first I was going to pop this guy hanging from the street light, and then I realized, you know, he's just working out. I mean, how would I feel if somebody come running in a gym, bust me in my ass while I'm on the treadmill? Then I saw this uh, snarling beast guy, and I noticed he had a tissue in his hand. I realized, you know, he's not snarling. He's sneezing. You know, ain't no real threat there. Then I saw a little Tiffany. I'm thinking, you know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, bunch of monsters, this time of night with quantum physics books. She about to start some shit, say. She's about eight years old. Those books are way too advanced for her. If you ask me, I say she's up to something. And to be honest, I'd appreciate it if you eased up off my back about it. Or do I owe her an apology? That's a good shot though, right? got a real problem with authority. So do I. But this kid ran down a seven point on foot. Boss, that's got to be tough enough. Let's hope you know what you're doing. Gentlemen, congratulations. You're everything we've come to expect from years of government training. And now if you'll just follow me, we have one more test to administer, an eye exam. <laughs>